Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. The case your master has returned, which means we're making probably my favorite type of content to make again. We're reading more hate comments. And this time, these comments are super salty. Saltier than McDonald's fries. Saltier than the ocean itself, because this time we really got mad. For some reason, they still have yet to realize that when you hate on the funniest YouTuber and best YouTuber on this platform, the only thing that's going to end up happening is you're going to get made into content and you're going to look real stupid. They have yet to realize that they only benefit me, make me furthermore the greatest YouTuber to exist. Without further ado, let's see what these stupid little haters have had to say this time. F you, attention seeker. This kid's no older than seven. Because even someone over the age of seven would say frick before they say F you. I don't know what parent gave their little kid an iPad, but they need to take it away immediately. Your ass needs to stay on YouTube, kids, and get the fuck off of my channel because I'm not kid friendly. But you can't seek attention when you are the attention. People come to my channel to watch me. People watch me. I am the attention. There's no seeking attention when you're the center of attention, little boy. Then in hate from Asia. Alright buddy, and I'm sending you another exotic animal so you can go eat it and start another pandemic, buddy. So is the motherfuckers that could never say some shit like that to my face. You're all the way in Asia trying to hate, and you can't even fucking leave a good hate comment? You're just gonna say sending hate from Asia? I'll fucking send all type of malaria your way then, how about that? Let's see what happens when your mom stops cleaning for you. First of all, buddy, she don't clean for me. I'm not a little fucking kid like you who has to get his room cleaned by mama every day. Second of all, how are we still making your mom jokes in the big 2024? Are we being fucking serious, buddy? You're gonna come to my channel with a your mom joke as your hate comment? That's what you wanted to say to try and get under my skin? That's fucking pathetic, dude. And little boy, I don't have to worry about even cleaning my room, because the only thing I be cleaning out is your mom. So shut the hell up, little boy, and get the fuck out of my comment section. Free country, and Asmund's using his right to say whatever the fuck he wants. And sure, America's a free country with free speech. But the thing you fucking morons forget is that free speech and the freedom of America is not freedom from consequences. If he wants to go online and show his dirty ass house and say ridiculous shit, then his consequence is gonna be me decimating him. If you want to come onto my channel and comment something stupid like you just commented, your consequence is now you're immortalized on YouTube history forever looking fucking stupid in front of thousands and thousands of people. So frankly, this is your problem there because you can utilize your free speech all you want, but guaranteed I'm the consequence that's going to happen with it. And you're going to have to live with that consequence forever now. Everyone knows Asmongold. What's your reason for hating him? Never mind. got to the pronoun argument, LMAO. Lord, another sissy boy hurt by second grade grammar. Oh no! What do you want me to call you, buddy? What do I address you as? Because if you don't believe in pronouns, then I can't address you as anything. Do I, do I, can't, I can't call you it, I can't call you them, I can't call you they. I can't call you a he, I can't call you a she. If you don't believe in pronouns, that's your fucking problem, buddy. I can't do nothing about that. I'm telling you, we all learn pronouns in like second grade. This is all stuff that everyone knows. I don't know why it's so difficult for you and people like Asmund Gold to understand that. Frankly, I think it might be a mental problem. I know you're struggling, so here's my grain of salt to you. First of all, that's not a phrase. You don't say, here's my grain of salt to you. That is not anything anyone says. But let's see, what's your grain of salt to me, buddy? You talking like you know any better is cringe. No, I know better than him. It's not cringe, it's just facts. I know how smart I am. I know that I'm smart. I know that he's obviously fucking not because you can see by the house that he's living in by the beliefs he has. I don't need dumb people like you commenting on my videos to make me seem smarter. Everyone already knows I'm fucking smart. It's already apparent that I'm smart. You are just f further boasting that fact. Second of all, if you're scared as a cockroach, you fail as a man. It's not a matter of being scared of a cockroach. It's a matter of cockroaches are dirty animals that only spawn in dirty areas. You don't see a cockroach in a completely clean mansion in Beverly Hills. You only see cockroaches when someone is living in filth. That's the point I was making with the cockroach, is that cockroaches are filthy, carry disease, and oftentimes if they're in your house, that means your house is filthy and disease-ridden. So again, what is with like you fucking morons and the pronouns? Like, what the fuck? Comprehension skills on the pronouns weren't amazing because fucking it was my point making. I was the one who made the point, not Asmongold. I didn't have to comprehend anything he said because I was the one that was making the argument, fucking moron. You're the one that still doesn't understand second grade grammar. I find it really interesting that you say here that I need to grow some pubes. I don't know why you're worried about what another man is doing with his pubic hair. That's really weird of you, and frankly, I think that might be something stuck in the closet. You come off as arrogant. 
Only thing I got from that is that I come, which is really weird for you to point out, but it is true. Not gonna lie, you sound like some whiny woke kid. Those the fat, neck-bearded anime fans who think being woke is a bad thing. Rather be awoke than asleep. Y'all realize being woke just means I do my own research and don't fall for propaganda like you fucking idiots. I'll gladly be woke if it means I'm nothing like your stupid weeb ass. And let's look at your fucking channel. I mean, even just the description alone tells me that you smell like complete and utter shit. I post game theories and anime content. You have never touched a fucking woman in your life, dude. Get some pussy. Wait, please. Now, why would I do that when I'm already considered the best YouTuber on this platform and I've only been doing this for about two months now? That would just be foolish of me. I'm not a quitter, unlike your father, Matt. I will be in episode two, poopy head. Listen here, motherfucker. You ever run those words to my face in person, and I will put you six feet into the dirt, buddy. Do not call me a poopy head ever again, you vile creation. What a shit video. You're not gonna go anywhere, kid. I hate to break it to you, but I've already fucking proven you majorly wrong. Um, as you can see by the statistics I showed, you're just fucking outright wrong. I'm already going places. Unfortunately for you, you're just sitting here making yourself look fucking stupid because my channel's thriving right now. It's doing better than it was even the last time I said it was thriving because guess what? I'm only getting better. If I'm only getting better, that means I'm only becoming more of the best YouTuber on this platform. So you can go seethe and fucking cry, but I'm already on the top of the pyramid. Now I know I'm already on the top of the pyramid because of comments like this. These are the only comments that matter to me. You and your fucking stupid opinion I couldn't mean a dime to me. Couldn't mean a grain of sand on the beach to me. Because these are the opinions that matter. These are the opinions that are correct. These are the opinions that let me know I should keep going because I'm on the top. Tippity top of the pyramid. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed dunking on these salty little haters. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Man, it sure feels good being a goat.